I'm uh, from Germany, working at the University of Augsburg uh, in the field of economics, resource economy is the field I'm working on and there I'm trying to find out how efficient it is to, how to say, to feed animals, to produce meat and then to feed persons, human beings, with animals or with meat, so to say. In uh, my presentation yesterday, I tried to show how inefficient it is to produce meat which is given to human beings to eat this. I tried to show that the conversion ratio, for example, if you take just the energy level, the conversion C ratio is approximately 10 to 1, which means that you have to feed 10 times more energy to an animal than you can just use for a human being as food stuff and this is quite inefficient and that's the let me say the the story or the big picture I wanted to uh, figure out in my presentation there is a lot of studies from uh, different disciplines which are showing or let me say almost proving that this is not a personal opinion but of course this is fact there is figures and there is a lot of publications in very well-known and well-reputated journals. For example, if you take the uh, Global Burden of Disease Study, which is a very reputated and well-known uh, consortium doing this study, they show, especially for Germany, but in the same uh, way for the Western world, they show that the biggest risk for human beings, which is causing trouble, uh, translated to, to, to suffering and to disease, the biggest risk is just the risk uh, related to diet. So dietary risks are the biggest risks which are causing trouble for human health in Germany. So there is, to, 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 to say it in a, a more detailed way, the disease adjusted life years. So the years which you are losing because of health problems they are measured there and if you just have a closer look on these risk factors the biggest risk within this risk factor things called dietary risk is the high processed meat problem so high processed highly processed meat is a big risk factor and this is not only true for germany but for all these countries where a lot of high processed meat or beef, things like that are consumed. So this is facts and figures, but they are not adequately translated to daily life of normal persons. And that is why there is a lot of things which have to be discussed and have to be done and have just to be argued to bring the things which are obvious from a scientific perspective to bring it to the people, to the persons around the world. This is a lot of things which have to be done and I'm trying to translate it, at least from my perspective, to translate it from the perspective of resource efficiency and there we are trying to quantify and to monetize these issues, the food chain and this is, let me say, a big, big thing which is to be arranged to reach persons, not only from an ethical perspective, but from a perspective of values and of money and of the true, let me say, the true value of food. Not only the market prices, demand, supply, but the true, the, the real costs, they should be, how do you say, included in these prices. And that is why we are trying to include, driven from economy, both data from health science, we are trying to, in, to, to bring uh, data, for example, from, from ethical perspectives, from the environment things, and we are trying to translate somehow these different uh, fields of research to, how do you say, to the economic perspective to have, uh, with the help of money, some, how do you say, currency to, to weight and to translate different uh, perspectives, different points of view. And that is why I think from an economic perspective, there is a good link which we can offer to different other disciplines. And that is why we are doing interdisciplinary research uh, here in our university in Augsburg.
It's the university in Augsburg. Uh, it's of course not the whole and the complete university doing research on this, but at least for our, let me say, new and quite small uh, working group, it is called Market for Mankind. For Mankind. We are doing this research and of course it's, it's interesting for us. It's interesting for, let me say, quite a lot of students, but it's new and it's not well known and that is why of course we are somehow a small player in this place at the university.